Today we are diving into this fascinating experiment where we are going to generate electricity from the Earth's magnetic field. But before we jump into the experiment, let's take a quick look at the theory behind what we are about to do. Imagine a conducting loop. When a magnetic field moves through that loop, we can actually generate electricity. The key is that the amount of magnetic field passing through that loop needs to change. So when a magnetic flux in a loop changes over time, it actually creates an electric potential. This potential then causes the current to flow through the loop. There are several ways we can change the magnetic flux in a loop. One way is by changing the strength of the magnetic field. Another method is by adjusting the area the magnetic field is passing through. We can also increase the number of loops in the coil, which has a big impact. And lastly, we can rotate the loop to change its angle relative to the magnetic field. So in this experiment, we would be using the Earth's magnetic field to generate electricity. The Earth's magnetic field is very weak. To put into perspective, bar magnet is about a thousand times stronger than the Earth's magnetic field. We have set up our experiment so that it's aligned with the Earth's magnetic field, specifically pointing towards the magnetic north pole. The multimeter we will be using is set to measure in millivolts, which is ideal for detecting the small voltages that are generated. So when the loop is aligned parallel to the magnetic field, there is zero flux passing through it. But when the loop is perpendicular to the field, the flux is at its maximum. This change in magnetic flux as the loop rotates is what generates electricity. It's the varying flux that induces an electric potential, which then causes a current to flow in the loop. As you can see, as I rotate the coil faster, the rate at which the magnetic flux changes is also increasing. This change in flux is directly linked to the voltage being generated, which you can see on the multimeter. The faster the coil spins, the quicker the flux changes, and that's why the voltage reading is rising. Since EMF is directly related to the flow of current, this means that a current is being produced in the loop as the coil spins faster. So essentially, by increasing the speed, we are generating more current in the system. So this is how we can generate electricity from the Earth's magnetic field.